like I'm somebody, somebody, somebody Where do I feel like I am? What's up guys? It's Saturday morning and today was our breakfast with Santa and our Cars and Coffees Museum event here at the Kansas City Automotive Museum. The museum is one of my Stephen Cook Media clients and even though the uh, Cars and Coffee Museum events are separate from Kansas City Cars and Coffee, I still help um, you know promote those, uh, do the photos, social media, all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Again, sorry, it's been a long time since I last vlogged. You know, I think September was the last time I posted a video, but you know, life's just been super busy. I've been traveling, just been doing a lot of client work, just really happy with how things are going, just staying busy. But anyway, I kind of wanted to vlog today and I have something to show you guys, a couple things that I bought actually, um, but I'll go ahead and show you that here in a minute. So like I said before, I bought a couple of cars recently and like I also said in previous videos and I've just said before, um, you know, I've always wanted a classic Volkswagen Beetle. So instead of getting just one bug, I bought two and <laughs> it's kind of a crazy story how it all happened actually. Um, so one of the cars is running and it can be driven and then one is a roller. You know, it's uh, <laughs> definitely a project car. but. Basically, I got both bugs for a crazy price. So one of my friends was out for a walk in his neighborhood one night and he saw a silver VW bug in the driveway of a house and he struck up a conversation with the owner and then the owner was like, hey, I'm trying to get rid of this car but I also have all this other stuff in my garage, come check it out. And so he shows my friend and his garage is just packed with stuff, um, you know, non Volkswagen stuff too, but he has a whole second car Kind of buried in his garage and just it's under all kinds of stuff you know there's stuff all in it it's crazy um so anyway my friend talks to the guy a little bit more and the guy said he wants it all gone you know the stipulation is that everything has to be taken you know not just the running car you know you have to come back and get the roller car all the parts and everything but he just wants it all gone for 500 bucks and so my friend told me and i was like holy cow that sounds like a pretty crazy deal so i went over the next day and you know checked out the cars and everything and um, you know the one that runs and drives it's pretty mechanically sound you know it's definitely rusty it's got the Volkswagen rust issues um, but that's to be expected and for 500 bucks I can't complain but the crazy thing is is you know I got both cars for 500 bucks they both have titles and there's tons of parts that I got too um, you know an extra engine and the guy said he has another one or two in storage um, that he's still yet to give me. Um, you know, I got new glass, new floor pans, just so many different parts, so many stuff I haven't even inventoried yet. Um, but, you know, considering that price and just everything I got, you know, <laughs> you can't go wrong. So I'm out here at the squad garage right now. That's where the roller car is. Um, you know, I've been so busy, I've hardly even had time to do anything with it or even really inventory the parts and stuff. So it's all just kind of out here um, right now. And so the silver one is back at my apartment and there's even more parts in my garage there. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and show you the roller here. It's uh, definitely a project car, like I said, and it's not pretty. It's just, uh, you know, it's got all the parts here, but you can see just the amount of everything, you know, everything on that shelf. There's another engine right here. You know, it's got all the fenders and pieces and stuff. There's so, so many things inside still. But the nice thing about this one is that, I mean, honestly, it does need some body work. It does need some rust repair and stuff. But, you know, you can just kind of put an engine in it and get some stuff fixed up. But the body itself isn't that bad. You know, it's got good glass. It's got good seals. It's not dented up. So this one is a 1966 and the silver one that runs and drives is a 1977. So you know there's quite a big difference in the styling between those years and the 66 is definitely the more desirable body style and just the better look. And so I'm really kind of just trying to figure out what I'm going to do at this point um, with all the stuff, you know, probably sell some of the parts. Um, but at the very least, you know, I'm going to learn to do some body work, I'm going to learn to do some uh, welding, rust repair, that kind of thing, and just uh, different mechanical stuff as well. So I'm kind of thinking about, you know, taking the time to kind of fix up the 66 and maybe even just uh, drive it as it looks, you know, not fix up the uh, paint or anything, but just kind of get it solid mechanically and 
you know, solid um, body-wise so that you don't fall through the floor pants or anything. It's like, you know, when I bought the Sable, I got that for 400 bucks, and then now I got both of these bugs for 250 bucks each, so basically the next car I buy has to be under 200 bucks. And also one more thing, um, also kind of why I haven't really done a whole lot with this here yet, or even really, you know, sorted the parts or anything, is that the Squad Garage is coming to an end, sadly. Um, the end of December, it's going to be our last month here, so uh, some of the guys, they just haven't really been using it, and we all kind of decided that we just wanted to, you know, save that money or just go in different directions. Uh, for example, I have a garage at my apartment, but I might actually get a second garage there. It's a bummer, but ultimately, you know, change uh, can be good, and change can always lead to better things, so I'm excited to see what the future holds. So, you know, honestly, I'll admit that I am pretty bummed that we're not gonna have the space anymore, especially since I was kind of planning on using this to work on this bug. Actually, I figured out that I have enough space to uh, put two cars in my current garage at my apartment complex. That's where the silver bug is, and I'm also actually able to park the Sable in there too. <laughs> so, I've pretty much got two cars in a one car garage right now because the bug is so small. So, you know, I could easily put this bug and the silver bug in a garage together and still have room for all the parts and to work on stuff. So who knows what I'll do, um, but I figured I would kind of show you guys this car while it's here now, because essentially I'm gonna have to haul it across town and, you know, pack everything up again. <laughs> so here it is, where it sits. You know, it's not pretty, but anyway, I'm gonna head to my apartment now and show you guys the 77. So like I said, the other car is a 1977 VW Bug and it runs and drives. You know, I drove it across town, um, you know, the night I bought it and <laughs> when I bought it, I it didn't even cross my mind, you know, what I was going to do on hills and, you know, uh, starting from red lights and stuff like that because <laughs> um, I don't know, it was a little bit of both, you know, driver error and just the quirks of the car, but I definitely killed it a bunch of times trying to, uh, you know, start out on some steep hills and stuff. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of, you know, getting to learn and obviously it doesn't have nearly as much power as what I'm used to driving, but nonetheless, here it is. And you know, it's not pretty, it still needs body work too, and it has its rust issues, but again, for a running driving Beetle for, you know, basically 250 bucks. You know, like I said, I'm not entirely sure what my plan is with both of these. I might wind up, you know, putting more time and resources into the red one. You know, before the night I bought it, I had never actually driven a Beetle before. And, you know, I'd ridden in them, I knew that I fit and everything, but I had never actually driven one. And even though it says fuel injection on the back, this car is actually still carbureted. It has a older motor in it, so that opens up a whole nother, you know, list of quirks, um, you know, owning a carbureted car. <laughs> so, but, you know, nonetheless, it's such a small car. It's, you know, a fun car. I can tell it's a lot of fun, you know, even as carefully as I've been driving it, just because I don't know, I don't want to push it and break something <laughs> and then wind up, you know, stranded or something like that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog. Thanks for watching, and you know, again, I feel bad for not posting for so long, but you know, head over to my Instagram. Um, you know, I've been posting a lot on there, updates and stuff, and you can check out everything that I've been up to over the past couple months. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can, um, you know, catch all the content in the future. Um, you know, there's gonna be a lot of stuff involving the bugs, and you know, again, just events and different things that I'm doing with clients and all kinds of exciting stuff, so you don't wanna miss out on that. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.